All right, so this is Miss Crush, Mrs. Crush. Um, she is a standard Eastern Box Turtle that was brought to me from a dog attack. Um, I've had her for about close to a week and a half now. She's been on antibiotics, um, painkillers, and every day I've been changing her major wounds. She's got a couple of um, old uh, battle scars. I know she has a puncture up here that I think is involved with the, the bottom puncture. Um, but I have been cleaning that out and checking it, and I don't think it's gotten into her body cavity, so, um, but we are going to epoxy over that. Um, very swollen in the eyes when I got her. Very, it wasn't moving, wasn't eating. She's now got her appetite back. She's moving around. However, um, this part of her shell, which is the worst part, um, because she's, she just drags on it. We can't structure that, and it's too thin. I don't want to wire it, so... Um, we have just been making sure her wounds have been cleaned and taken care of, making sure her pain is manageable. Um, so about uh, four days ago, um, she has healed over. Um, this was all like open and red and bloody, and now it's all good. We've been cleaning it out. She no longer smells of infection. She's a like smell really badly of infection and now she has no scent. Um, I have actually, on top of antibiotics, I have been cleaning this out um, really well and I've been using this stuff and this stuff is just absolutely amazing. It just gets in there, cleans out all that bacteria. Um, so we do have a big piece of shell that's missing. Uh, don't know where that's at. Um, I would have liked to you know, clean up the edges, glue it in here, and try to fuse it back together. Um, but that's not the case. That's not how I got her. Um, she also has this puncture here. I know it looks gnarly, but it doesn't go into her body cavity. So I'm going to, um, but I've also been cleaning that out every day and using the Vector Serum, uh, Vector Serum on it. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. It's this major one that I want to, I want to fix. Um, so she, it, it's still attached, um, the carapace is still attached, so there's no pulling that off. Uh, no, I mean, I would never want to do that in the first place, but it's not going to come off. Um, so all I'm going to do today, now that we're clear of infection, um, and things have scarred over very nicely, um, we're going to work on repairing this. So I'm going to put her up in a little comfy position. Um, it's not ideal to have a turtle on their back very very long uh, because their lungs are actually on the top on the top of their shell so their lungs are up here when you have she's not that big so I don't think it's going to affect her too much so but I am going to have her tilted up just so not all that pressure is on there she's a uh, she's been very she's I think she understands that I'm helping her so she hasn't been um, when I first got her she was trying to uh, kind of bite me um, and claw at me which is kind of abnormal for box turtles, but in the amount of pain that she was in, that's kind of decent. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to kind of just clean this up a little. Where is my cloth that I had for this? Okay. I've got a sterile cloth that I'm going to use. I'm going to cut it up because it's way too big. And we're just going to make sure that this is nice and clean. So I'm just going to, again, go in with the Vecta Serum. Um, I had already done her uh, cleaning for today. So I know that it's nice and cleaned out. Um, any shell fragment is long gone. Like, um, there was a lot of, sh of rot. Um, there was a lot of... Oh, I know, baby girl. I know. You're going to... This is going to make you feel so much better, though. There was a lot of a, uh, what's the term, necrotic tissue. I'll post a before picture of when I got her. This was just all necrotic flaked tissue in here. It was open and seeping. It was just was not well, not good. All right, so now that we've got her cleaned up, I'm going to go in with a Bondo fiberglass. Um, and then we're just going to put a hard fiberglass shell, um, fake faux shell over this. 
uh, until that heals up really nicely. Um, that should push the fiberglass off. Should we need to in the future, we can always just sand this off very gently. So let me get this out. I'm just going to take a piece of this fiberglass cloth and I'm going to cut a piece that will fit nicely over her. This is a very Kevlar fiberglass feel um, cloth. A lot of people use this for repairs on like boats, um, RVs, four-wheelers. I know I've done, I've done repairs with my four-wheeler. Okay. But these little fiberglass strands, you definitely don't want them to get anywhere near her face, her eyes, her mouth. Um, so just be careful with those. Okay, so. Clean repair area with acetone or warm, warm soapy water to remove dirt and grease and all contaminants. Oh, I know, big girl. I'll set you down while I'm reading this. Sandpaper. Um, I'm not going to sandpaper because I don't want a huge bond on this. Um, I just wanted to work its magic while she heals up. She's not going to be doing any craziness. Okay, so... Pre-cut several pieces, one inch larger wearing gloves recommended. Okay, mixing tips. Mix on proxy 8 to 12 minutes at 70. Well, this is just goes on and on. I just want the Okay, ratio of resin to hardener is as follows. For one ounce of resin, add 10 drops of hardener. Okay, we just need one ounce. One ounce of resin, 10 drops of hardener. We're going to eyeball this. She's going to try to run away from us, too. Can't let that happen. Look, Miss Crush. I don't need you going all over my desk. Okay, that's about one ounce. That's about all we're gonna need. So we're gonna do 10 drops of hardener here. Oh, they would put a little... You have to pop it open with a pen, which I don't have, so we're gonna use a blade. Because apparently I have a blade. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and one to grow on. So I'm going to mix this thing up. Oh, it's already starting to get heavy. Real thick. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing the camera very well, am I? So this doesn't have a super strong smell to it. I'm not worried about it um, affecting her because I'm not going to let her. Um, like roam around too much with this on. I'm gonna make sure that I'm holding her. She's right next to me. As you can see, she's very... She was not like this when I got her. She has been through some stuff. Homegirl has been through a lot. Okay. No. Well, all right, come here, ma'am. I know, I know, you're mad at me, I'm sorry. So, I'm going to cut this about right here. It's going to get a lot of little flakies everywhere that I don't want, but we're going to have to just deal with it right now. Alright. can Do you mind closing up, ma'am? Okay. Thank you. I am going to put a dab of super glue on that just to start out. It's going to make it a lot easier on my end. Oh well. Let's just lose everything while we're doing a video. I 
I just had super glue. And I've got a work time I gotta deal with, so. All right, ma'am, close up. There you go. All right, so now this does fit in there. I um, There was a, a piece that just did not wanna fit for some reason, so I had to work on it and really kinda get it to fix, um, file that inside just a little. So that's about as good as we're gonna get it. Now, I don't recommend doing this, but just because I cannot find my super glue anywhere, she is going to hate this for five minutes, but she is going to feel better. I'm gonna put a little bit of tape to hold that because I don't have four hands. Okay, so we're gonna take the piece that we have here. We're gonna take our resin. We're gonna start working it. onto the shell. You just want to cover that resin cloth. This is going to take multiple layers. I already feel it starting to harden up while I'm working on it. We're not doing anything super pretty here. I'm going to make sure that we're clear of her legs. Again, the infection is gone. We're, we, she's still on some antibiotics, just in case. Um, what I'm trying to do is get it to where we're going to have this all sealed up. We're not gonna have to worry about water getting in there. I'm gonna put the second one on, just because that kind of went on super clear. I wish I had a brush. I'm sorry, y'all, I was not as prepared as I thought I was for this. Now I have done this before on the top shells. Um, never one in a sticky situation right here because she is an eastern box turtle. She has a hinge in there that allows her to completely close up because not all tortoises or turtles have that. Fun fact. And she's got nerve endings connected right here. Um, muscles that will pull that closed. And since it's not working right, I mean, since the that part is missing, when she pulls it, she pulls this open. Okay, so now I need to address this little area right here. So I'm gonna take a little bit, a little bit more cloth. She's gonna open up, and I, that's exactly what I don't want her to do. Close back up, girl. Close back up. I need to take a little bit more cloth and I can already see this cloth is going to get all over my desk. And come on, close back up, girl. I have a fan going, so um, if that's what you hear in the background, this is going to help with the fumes um, that not only am I breathing in, but she's breathing in. Like I said, this isn't very, this isn't very like uh, strong on the fumes. It's nothing like a perm or anything like that. Okay. I want to get these, but I'm going to probably have to clip that. Those little edges once this sets. Just because I don't want her eating little fiberglass pieces. Alright. No, I'm not hurting her having her close her shell up. Um, she probably prefers it. I know she wants to get out of this position. I'm sure it's uncomfortable, but she is sitting upright, um, not completely on her back. So now I need to wait for this to dry. Um, take about 10 minutes. Um, I'm probably just gonna like, kind of like blow on her and get this to dry. So. I will be, um, I won't make you guys sit through that, so I will be back once this is fully dried. Okay, so we're back. It's been about an hour, so she's been opening and closing. I did set the sticky side on the towel to give it a little texture um, instead of being so glossy or whatever. It looks like it's doing good. Um, 
I've had her open and close her shell to make sure that her hinge is still going to work properly because um, I did add extra support down at the bottom. So um, we got we got it to where she's she can open it up and everything. Um, so it does look glassy right now. Um, it is hard, like that's hard. Um, it's only going to get harder um, over the next 24 hours. And then I'll come in with a little bit of a little bit of sandpaper. I'm not going to hit her shell with it, but I just want to kind of just take some of the chunk down on this. Um, and then off camera, before I let, let it dry, um, <clears throat> I forgot to hit record, but I did add one more sheet here. I think I'm going to have to go back at the bridge because that's going to be one of the hardest parts because she keeps clamping up and opening and it keeps like doing this number so that is definitely going to have to be a little bit more worked on as you can tell she's she's opening her shell and everything so i think this little lady is going to be just fine she's out of the the dangerous infection phase um i'm going to let her rest for the night in um a, um, a sanitary enclosure um with no substrate um i'm just going to put um little bit of damp paper towel of course I'm gonna let her dry up a little bit more to where she's not tacky because um, I just hit a section in there that was still tacky yeah it's still a little bit tacky um, now how long this will last um, since she's kept an enclosure I think it'll last um, last pretty well until she heals up all the way and starts building that keratin up more might have to add some new patches eventually. Um, she is she is wild. Um, she was found by a neighbor and when their dog attacked her. So I do eventually want to release her back into the wild, but make sure that she gets fully healed up first. So um, I will add more videos once she's fully recovered and let you guys know what it looks like. But uh, right now, yeah, that is uh, repairing a big hole in an eastern box turtle's um, underbelly carapace um, and uh, I'll let you know how the hinge works and if there's any restriction in that um, if there is restriction in that I'll probably sand this down a little bit thinner to where she can move move it a little bit more but she seems to be doing fine like I said during the during the drying process I've had her open and close open and close so all right next time you guys see little miss crush she'll probably be back to normal Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys, this is two days later. She's doing great. She's feeling so much better, and it's all hard. Um, like I said, I am going to file some of the sharp edges down. Um, this is stabilized. I know it's a little off, but I don't think I'm going to do anything to it. I'm probably just going to um, sandpaper it just a little bit and get it done, but she is doing wonderful and she is close to being ready to go into the outdoor enclosure with my other eastern box turtles and in about a month after watching her to make sure everything's good we're going to go ahead and release her so all right thanks for watching